So guys, welcome back to Arduino Kids and I am Oshin from Arduino Kids. So today we are going to do something better and something interesting than Arduino. And this is also a programming uh, and uh, we can use this to make games and uh, many more actual animations. Um, themes and uh, movies and etc okay so uh, i'll tell you what's that okay so uh, that is scratch and you can go on google or any you can browse you can use a web browser and uh, go and uh, type there scratch okay scratch okay yeah, so uh, you should go to this website and I'll give you the link in the below description and uh, you can just you can uh, it's there to create explore ideas about and uh, don't care about this anyway so uh, first uh, when you are signed first actually when you are joining this scratch okay so uh, you can see in here I have uh, joined scratch okay so uh, when you are joining scratch I cannot uh, show you all the folder but uh, however you should follow these steps uh, next next after that however uh, you can follow these steps and they have given the guidance and after that you will get this window and uh, now we can click on create or explore when you are exploring uh, okay so i just click explore and you can see some games that are made by actually these are projects and games okay so uh, made by other people who are in scratch and uh, now we can click on create and this will help you to create your own scratch project so um, first of all uh, you get this window and in this window there are tutorials and uh, can just click on that with scratch and you can make just go stores. watching Game. okay so i'm just closing this it's, uh, it's no useful okay so uh, when you're getting this first window in our spirit one it's the cat Okay, so you can go to the costumes uh, actually I'm giving a brief explanation about this scratch and how to use it and the basic steps of that okay so uh, so mainly you uh, get two costumes actually one is uh, okay this boat we can use uh, by exchanging this boat like this first this one and then this one and this one and this one so by going to next costume next costume we can give in a walking action okay so you can see okay so uh, you can take this to the full screen even and uh, now we can add sounds and etc so in uh, when you're opening this window there's original sound it's called meow and I just play it and show it. Okay, so we can adjust this from faster, slower, louder, softer, and we can even mute it and fade in, fade out, reverse. And this gives a robot sound, actually, the robot. And you can hide this one and show this one, and you can manage the size. Uh, we we'll just put 80. Okay, so this becomes smaller and direction uh, even we can put okay so you can see direction you can change it like this and i have put 90 the reaction and the xy is cha changing and when we bring the cat to here you can see these are changing and Yeah, and uh, you can 
I told about the costumes and now uh, I'll show about the code okay so uh, you do not get anything in the code section and there are uh, motion, looks, sound, uh, events, controls, sensing, operators, variables and my blocks so uh, we can uh, from the first section we can do the moving session so uh, if I just this just as example okay so if I uh, just put when click green flag okay so this is uh, the events tab okay so events tab uh, I'll first explain about that and uh, this actually gives you the idea when something is clicked when someone came or when someone now just for example uh, one mother is telling to his child when someone comes please open the door and uh, child's child uh, recognize that and uh, he keeps rem remembering that and when someone comes to the door he goes and open so uh, it's same as uh, the scratch events tab this in here when click green flag green flag means this one okay. so this is go and this is stop uh, you can stop the moving green flag by clicking on stop okay so uh, now this same this all are as usually same like this first tab okay but usually we use this one uh, more and more so I it's good to explain about this one and uh, now I'm going to go for motion step okay so I'm going to put move 10 steps okay so I am going to move this cat to here you can see x y directions are changing and uh, after that uh, I will uh, no first I'll just play this one okay so you can go for the full screen in here okay so we can just click on the green flag and then this will move 10 steps but the costumes will not change because we haven't coded yet okay so you can see Okay, so this means that uh, when we click the green flag one time this will move one that means one step okay so uh, now I'm going to click the green flag okay like this like this now I'm continuously clicking it so you can see it's going okay so uh, move 10 steps means this is not forever so we can uh, go for the control step actually this is the tab which controls our code actually this does a major impact on our code or uh, in our spirit so spirit okay so uh, first I will also explain about spirits you can see the spirit is a character that is displayed on this tab and uh, tab means this area actually and uh, spirit one two and uh, we can name it anything okay so now i'll just name it zero okay so now the name of this changes into zero and we can even just uh, click on this button and delete it and we can add or we can add an another spirit okay we can even just paint it okay so if i have if i can just paint zero. so i just delete it and we'll go back to our code session okay so uh, now we can use for in this task in from this control tab we are using the forever tab okay so uh, you can keep it here and then uh, we can move this cat back here and then click on green flag okay so you can see it's moving continuously 
So, uh, okay. yeah, you can see when we brought it back, it's moving again. So uh, we just keep it, yeah, or move it. So this forever time does the work. Okay, so if we just uh, okay, I just explain the forever tab. A forever tab uh, is actually for doing the task, the major task, forever. Okay, so that means not forever. Uh, when green flag click forever like that. Okay, so uh, there are many bars like this like forever uh, I'll give you example uh, we repeat 10 times so we can just take it and just select this one and we can change it to uh, 900 okay, so like that most of the bars in this control tab just a major task and uh, uh, most of these bars are similar to forever okay so uh, now we just join this one and now I am going to uh, look step you can say hello for two seconds that doesn't mean that he's telling hello from his sound okay and this just gives uh, expressions gives expression actually i uh, i think you cannot understand what i mean okay so i'll just play it and show now uh, like this you can see okay so like this is uh, i just wait just wait one minute and uh, now we'll click the stop button and we'll take take the cat back and now when we click the green flag you see it's telling hello and good okay because I have set it for two seconds this is moving very slowly okay uh, so uh, now we'll just click on the stop button and uh, now uh, I'll explain about this look step so uh, in from this look step we can uh, change the looks of this costume or uh, we can even change from one costume to another uh, so uh, even we can change from one costume one to costume two okay so uh, even we can do these tasks also say hello and we can even put think hmm, like that okay so you can see saying hello you can see it's telling him but we can't see it because of the speediness and uh, uh, we can even uh, put for here uh, yeah this one okay think hmm, for two seconds now he will think hmm and again hello hmm hello hmm hello and like that he will move 10 steps by two seconds and two seconds okay so uh, now we'll go to sound step and sound step uh, it's there and uh, you can say play sound start sound stop all sounds these are the major three bars we use recently but uh, these are also being used these are also being used recently but i use this and these two recently so uh, we can use many of these so uh, I'll just use this start sound one and I'll just keep it and uh, we can record our sound even by clicking in here okay so hello 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 okay so now I recorded uh, and uh, we can edit this one and now I'll just edit and play so hello 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 okay so you can see it and save and uh, so recording mark so we can just uh, delete the meow and put recording mark 
and then uh, you can see when we uh, so then we can we should change this to recording one and uh, you can click click the green flag okay so when we click uh, wait i'll just take to this position and when we click you can see so hello 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 so hello 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 so hello 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 okay so you saw that and uh, it's telling hello while saying this hello dialogue okay so and uh, i also should actually explain another one thing and it's very 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 important okay it's in the motion tab and x y so uh, we can change this one's position uh, so you can see uh, i just bring the bar up okay so go to x y 100 minus 151 and minus 130 so the same numerals are in here so uh, when we move this to the middle you can see the in here it's changing all right so you can see in here it's minus 2 and minus 5 it's minus 2 and minus okay so now i'm going to code this uh, when green flag clicked okay now i just uh, no i'll just keep it in here and you can see so hello 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 so hello 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 okay, so you can see it's not moving because i have mentioned stay in that same position okay so now uh, just we'll take off and next we okay so now we have talked about the motion step look step sound step oh no another one thing is in the sound step and we can even uh, as spirits we can even just uh, choose a sound and just okay so now for example there are many sounds and i just take take and there are even funny sounds okay so, so we can just go for voice and i'll just show a funny sound okay <coughs> <coughs> funny huh so uh, there are many okay. okay so like that many sounds are there and uh, uh, yeah that's all and uh, in the animal stab you get many sounds and in loop stab note stab and in, okay so uh, just go back and uh, so now we'll go back to our call session and now we have talked about these all tabs now it's time for sensing tab and now we can okay so uh, can by just clicking on it you can see whether it's true or false even and uh, you can see uh, this sensing tab actually senses okay so in arduino even we are going to talk about we haven't still talked about uh, PIR sensor, you know, okay, so uh, it's also same as like this, okay, so this also senses something, okay, so for example, our skin senses the coldness and the heat, okay, so like that, this senses our mouse pointers, keypad or keyboard, uh, actual keyboard, not keypad, uh, and the touchpad uh, no not the touchpad the mouse touchpad no sorry uh, the keyboard and etc so uh, you can say when okay so for replacing this touching mouse pointer okay uh, yeah touching mouse pointer uh, we can move to uh, when green flag clicked 
okay when green flag clicked because we should play this when the green flag is clicked okay so we can go for uh, control tab and then forever then if then okay if then if then means if touching mouse pointer now i'll just change to edge okay edge means this one so okay these edges okay so uh, if touching edge we should uh, okay now i'm using go to x y okay the random position that means the starting position it's you can see in here the starting position where the cat is okay so uh, now i just change it because i changed the starting position and now you can see okay so now just we'll play this and see okay so hello 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 okay so anyway uh, that so hello 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 actually that's my sound uh, don't be just confused and uh, so i'll just move it in here and keep it in here so now we'll just click the green flag and see whether if this edges are touched it will come to its starting position okay so hello okay, so hello hello you can see it touched the edges and it came to the random that means the starting position okay so now we know about the sensitive time and now the operations step so i'm not going to show what this step this because uh, it it uh, actually because uh, i should code many and uh, many blocks and and that means we should add many blocks because uh, well, if not I'll just show it to okay. nothing else okay so when we can put here so I'll just um, yeah. okay so we can put this one yeah okay so we can just see okay so you can see it so we can use even to solve some problems this one i just put 9 plus okay 9 plus uh, what 9 plus 4 okay 9 plus 4 is 13 and now we'll see what's the result okay so it's showing 13 so uh, now uh, when even so we can uh, click so i just take off this part and uh, just keep it sorry and just keep it uh, pick the green flag okay, so leave it like this and you can see in the edge you can just replace it in here So hello hello hello. So, uh, nothing is displayed by this one because touching uh, nine plus four it's useless. Okay so so we can see whether this the value we want and we when comparing variables we can use these blocks. Okay so uh, now we'll go to variables block we can make variables for all spirits so for this spirit only and we should type the variable and we can also uh, when uh, yeah argue my variable and i can just uh, that means i can change the value of this variable by putting the slider or we can okay can just oh, come on it's coming okay
and now we can change our value by 66 okay so 66 and now just you can hide this end you see okay it's showing 66 the value is 66 and now we can put back it to zero okay, so, and you get these tabs and you can make a list even uh, you get these tabs by making a variable and you can even make a block your own block like this you can add an input add an input add an label add a label okay in first input uh, number text and uh, boolean and uh, this are text okay so uh, we can select run without screen refresh so run with screen refresh okay so we can type the block name and we can even just delete this one from here and then we should click ok ok so uh, yeah that's all about I think I have explained all of my experience and that means the experience that I gained at my first okay so uh, this is the basic knowledge about uh, the scratch and this is my new video series about scratch except Arduino so uh, keep watching and please hit the subscribe button and please and please subscribe me and don't forget to like hit the like button and uh, if you have any 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 question or any doubt just leave that question on our comment section below and uh, i'll give you this link this link okay this link in the uh what do you call the description below and uh, thank you for watching bye and i'll see you later